Hello and welcome to MuleSoft training videos. In the last video, we have seen how to create an API using MuleSoft 4. And in this video, we are going to see the advantages of creating such APIs. By creating APIs uh, or uh, by following API-based approach, it encourages uh, to go for service-oriented architecture uh, as against monolithic architecture. So, uh, what's the advantage of following SOA instead of monolithic architecture? Let's take a look at this. So, in the traditional and conventional deployment uh, by using Java and .NET, uh, we used to deploy all the components uh, together as a single unit or under the single server. So, uh, we have a lot of drawbacks uh, when, when there are, uh, uh, during the um, peak time, when there are too many requests coming in, we often end up the problem and sometimes we restart the server in order to make it work and uh, the drawback is we will be losing all the requests uh, during the outage. But uh, following the API based approach uh, we often end up creating multiple small units which are called uh, service uh, or uh, sometimes we can even uh, uh, design the service in such a way that it can perform only one action autonomously which are called microservices architecture. So this video doesn't explain uh, the service oriented architecture versus microservices which is a big topic which we can see later. But uh, um, this helps us to understand what the APIs are and how and what are the advantages of creating small units of uh, uh, business components called API. And uh, second, MuleSoft provides API manager where we have a better control over uh, small uh, individual units called API. Let's take a look at this. So MuleSoft has two independent uh, uh, manager, one is API and another one to manage the runtime components. So as you know, the runtime manager contains all the core applications and business components as uh, uh, individual uh, API components. And uh, API manager uh, uh, helps us to provide uh, security on uh, different APIs in a different way and apply different policies and apply analytics on each API. So what are these? So assume that we have uh, six APIs. Suppose you are uh, uh, core APIs or, or business critical APIs are 1, 2 and 3. Then you want to apply security only for these 3. And on the other hand, you have uh, services called ABC which are uh, um, which have uh, high traffic of API during the peak time. Then uh, you might want to handle them separately and you can apply policies such as throttling and you can control uh, a number of uh, requests served per unit time say you can decide uh, five requests in a minute uh, etc so there are a lot of uh, policies provided by uh, MuleSoft api manager where you can apply on different apis in a different way and the third one you have an enhanced security uh, when you are using api based approach so uh, when we say policies, uh, security, throttling and other aspects of API uh, manager in MuleSoft. Uh, uh, so you don't uh, combine uh, the business core business components into these because uh, the API manager is a layer running on top of these core components and thereby uh, you can uh, often keep changing the security policies as required without uh, uh, touching the core business components. And last but not the least, you have API analytics provided by MuleSoft where uh, you can uh, monitor uh, these APIs and in, in terms of uh, number of traffics uh, on, a, on a time period and uh, how many security breaches happened and what are the loopholes and uh, um, what are the different ways you can uh, efficiently deploy these uh, uh, APIs in a better way. For example, if you feel these uh, three uh, APIs are uh, uh, being called uh, uh, quite often uh, with high frequency, then you can remove these three and then uh, deploy it in a uh, in a scaled server where you can 
uh, scale uh, horizontally or vertically uh, uh, in whichever way you want. But however, in monolithic architecture, you can still scale, but uh, uh, you need to scale uh, uh, only uh, horizontally, but not vertically. Uh, so there are uh, um, there are still uh, advantages and disadvantages uh, in monolithic architecture, but our topic is to uh, see uh, the advantages of uh, uh, using API-based approach in MuleSoft. So uh, that's it in this video, and then uh, thank you. We can see in the next video.